I'm Chris Lazat. Um, I'm originally from Detroit. My husband, Alan, and I uh, spent over 30 years breeding and showing bull mastiffs under the Happy Legs prefix. I'm Alan Coulter, and uh, I'm the other part of Happy Legs. And uh, I've been involved in dogs for most of my life. I just decided that the bull mastiff would be a great breed to have. They had the qualities we were looking for. We um, contacted a breeder in New York and we got our first dog and then we got our second, a, a female. That's when we started breeding and showing. Well, we first started going to CBM um, for hip x-rays with the late Dr. Mostoski, who was sort of a legend at MSU. And we would take all of our dogs there. For that and then um, later on we had a dog uh, a dog of ours that oh around the age of one or two he developed really bad entropian we went to what was who was considered one of the top um, eye guys in the state and he did surgery on him but the eyes kept twitching and the issue was that he was treating the symptoms but he wasn't getting to what was causing his this dog's eyes to twitch. So we contacted MSU and we said, well, you know, we think there's something else going on. The dog also has an ear infection. There might be an allergy involved. And they, so they took him on. They were able to diagnose the dog. The dog had allergies, which was what was causing the ear infection, which was causing the entropion. They were able to address the allergies and in addressing the allergies, they, they finally cured the eye problem. We were really strongly encouraged by was the depth of the staff and the caring that the staff has. It isn't just the uh, the high profile doctor, the the uh, residents and the nursing staff. They're all incredible there. So we established uh, a fund called the Happy Legs Fund at the hospital, and that would be used in any case where the animal's life was threatened and the people didn't have the money to complete the, uh, comp all the care for the, uh, for the dog or the cat. This program's impact extends beyond clients and animals to our doctors, staff, and students who care for those cases. We're so lucky to have great donors that contribute to this program so that we can continue the amazing care that we love to provide. We actually have established two uh, endowed professorships. The first that we did was to have a professor who was in theriogenology. Theriogenology is just a big word for the study of reproduction and diseases and making it better, but there wasn't a, an endowed professor for genomics. So we had a, uh, another discussion with uh, Dean Pushner about creating, if there was an interest in creating that. And there was great interest on her part. We are so grateful that Alan and Chris chose MSU to create a vision for a world-class small animal theoregenology program. Thanks to them, we now have two endowed professorships that will enable us to create a program that will be a critical resource for veterinarians, breeders, and most importantly, the dogs around the world. And I think eventually what MSU will be famous for is uh, the ability to connect, teach, and have not only veterinarians who have that experience, but who can now pass that on to their, their uh, clients. Veterinarians who go through this program and become uh, specialists in reproductions will help you know, breeders after us, the future of breeding. The one thing that stands out more than anything for me is the commitment that all the people connected to the CVM have to their mission and to their clients and most importantly to the animals. 